How's it going guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews and this is the best films of 2024 so far. Yes, I'm a little tardy to the party on this video. Uh, we did the uh, worst films of 2024 so far and I will link that somewhere over here or it will definitely be at the end of this video. Go check that out. Uh, but this is my top 10. This was from January 1st to July 26th was the cutoff. And then we'll go from July 26th to the end of the year for the next 10. And then I will put my top 20 together. So here we go. At number 10, we have Asphalt City. Uh, I gave it a 3.875. This stars uh, Sean Penn and Ty Sheridan as ambulance workers. What entails in their life and trials throughout the day. Uh, this is a pretty hardcore movie, I have to say. There's a pretty hardcore turn with Sean Penn's character in it that I really enjoyed. And overall thought this was a really good movie. If you haven't checked it out, you should go check it out. Number nine, Origins. Uh, this was a 2023 movie. I didn't get to end up seeing it. It, it, it got delayed and got a main release in 2024. This movie takes place... Um, uh, John Berthal's in it. So this this lady loses loses her her boyfriend, and she goes off to learn about the the origins the origins of the caste system in India, and the how Hitler used Jim Crow as a way to exterminate the Jewish people. This movie is really awesome. I did give this a 4.25 stars. This is a tremendous flick that you should definitely go check it out. I dive deeper into my review if you want to go check that out. It's up on the channel. Eight is Ezra. Uh, this is starring Bobby Cannavale. I gave it a 3.875. This is a dad struggling with his autistic son and not really connecting with him he loves him and he tries to do everything they need to do but he feels like he's not really connecting with him overall and he ends up kidnapping his son and taking him on a road trip to like connect with him and become a better dad and it ends up tying into that Bobby Cannavale is a stand-up comedian. He gets booked on uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel or uh, Conan O'Brien or something like that. And I think it's Jimmy Kimmel. And he goes and he has to get out there. But the cops are being called because the, the mom jumped the gun. He didn't really kidnap his son. He just... Didn't tell her he was taking her. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It, it's not what it seems on the surface. It, this is a very good movie. Uh, this is a regal mystery movie. I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Number seven, Maxine, starring Mia Goth. I gave this movie a four point two five. This movie was tremendous. This was a great closure to the X trilogy or Ty West trilogy Pearl X and Maxine I loved what they did bringing crazy 80s lifestyle to the forefront in this movie and it was pretty awesome I like that they they brought in the they brought in the dad and he's an overbear he's like a religious cult leader freak and it's it's pretty awesome and I dug it I dug it at number six, Deadpool and Wolverine. 
Uh, I gave this movie a 4.75. This movie was everything that I wanted it, it to be and more. Uh, I think this was a great uh, beginning, a new page in Marvel uh, setting up a new, di not a new dimension, but setting up this dimension as I think this is where our X-Men are going to come before they collapse everything, which I think is a very interesting thing. It was great to see all the cameos that we got. Uh, I still think people playing up that Wesley Snipes was the best cameo. I definitely wasn't. It was definitely Channing Tatum as Deadpool, that dude. I don't know if he would have been as cool if he would have got his own movie, but I'm glad he got this, and I can't wait to see him come back uh, in, in, a, in later movies to see where he goes. It was brilliant. This was a great, great movie. At number five, Civil War, I gave this five stars. This is from A24. This was a very interesting insight to what a modern day Civil War would look like and why Texas and California would join up. <laughs> uh, I think this was a great movie on so many levels showing the the um, the photography aspect which i loved the most of it all because i think in in my alternate universe i was a great wars correspondent war photographer in this life not a chance in fucking hell i would just freeze up and probably get murdered easily easily uh this was a damn good movie this played on so many hard strings that was just brilliant overall. Number four, we have Miller's Girl starring Jenna Ortega. I gave this movie four stars and it is worth everything about it. Uh, the vitriol that this movie gets for the age the age discrepancy between the two characters, but that's what it's meant to be. It's, it's, it's supposed to, and he, and it, he really doesn't even do anything. Uh, she, she ends up kind of just framing him, which kind of ruins his life overall. I think the portrayal of that and the show that the dynamic, you would think that it would be the teacher taking the, uh, power over the student but you see that switch where the student took over the power of the teacher and ultimately fucked him over uh this movie was brilliant jenna ortega was excellent in this movie at number three my favorite film i i, I think that i think this sh almost should have been number one for me but this was a damn, damn good movie. Long Legs. Uh, I gave this a 4.375. This movie was tremendous on so many levels. The satanic, the satanic panic of the movie, which just triggers so many people. <laughs> um, and to, sh to have... Nicolas Cage in this role playing this character and then the interrogation scene with him is just so overly overwhelmingly awesome that uh, Nick Cage should definitely get an award for this movie I think he would be robbed if he didn't number two we have Late Night with the Devil I gave this movie a 4.375. Uh, David Stosmolchin plays a late night host who brings the devil on during sweeps week and it proves not to be the best idea overall. Uh, a lot of bad things happen. It just goes so far out there. Uh, this just proves that David Stosmolchin can carry a film by himself. I would love to see him in more starring roles. Uh, the overall practical effects on top of what they used for CG was absolutely 
amazing. And uh, I cannot recommend this movie any higher than I am currently. At number one, Immaculate. Sidney Sweeney gets imbued with the devil's baby, a la The Omen. And I gave, I, I gave this movie a 3.875. This movie, for the, for the whole movie, and on top of the ending of this movie, which the ending of this movie is so well earned and just so creepy and how could you do something like that is what makes this movie so goddamn good and currently at my number one guys let me know what you think of my list uh is it good is it bad do you agree what movies have you seen i'd sure love to hear about it give us that like give us that subscribe thank you guys so very much and i will see you in my next video bye